Thank you for joining me on my learning journey. Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on how to write event listeners in JavaScript to make um, to run a certain function, to execute a certain function whenever um, an HTML button is clicked or a form input is changed. And here we go. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a button. And we're going to give it an, an ID. I'm going to just say button. And then I am going to, I'm going to create a scripts tag. And here is where our, our JavaScript will go. And so first things first, in order to add the event listener, we need to know what we're adding the event listener to. And so for that, we're going to do a get element by ID and enter the ID. Then we're going to add the event listener and the event listener takes two parameters that you have to enter the event and the listener. So the event is um, when you want the function to run and then the listener is the function that you want to run. So I would say for this one I want the this function to get executed whenever the user clicks on the button. So for the event, I would say click. And for the listener, I'm going to just do a new function and we're going to define our function here. I'm not really sure what to do, so I'm just going to alert um, button clicked, button clicked. So for this button, I'm going to add a little bit of text. I'm just going to say, click me. There we go. And so let's take a look at how this turns out. And so we are here on our HTML file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the button and see if it works. And it does. And so that is how you create a click event listener. And of course, you can do a lot more things than just um, alerting a user. And you can also do more things than just having a click event listener. So I am going to um, I am going to create a form here and I am going to have an input of a number. Again, assign it an ID. I'm just gonna say number. Um, and there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, an event listener for every time this button is clicked. I mean, not clicked, sorry, um, changed. So I'm gonna do change here and function. And here I am going to define the function. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say um, there alert. I'm just going to define a variable here is document dot get element by ID number dot value plus this string and I'm just going to say is oops 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 <laughs> uh, is the input that you selected and then I'm going to say alert alert maybe alert won't work as well I'm just going to say alert text alert text. There we go. And so let's see how this code goes. So we're back on our page and this time we have a number input underneath our button. And so now every time you um, change the value it will alert you saying that you have changed the value.
So that's it for this basic tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. And I will really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.